You're cleaning the grill with an onion? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it on the internet. It's actually working pretty good. Because apparently the wire brushes... Yeah, off. they can leave bristles in the food. And then you can eat them and die, so... Sure. Um, Naturally. Yeah, so this is actually doing pretty good. And I've lost a couple, but... <laughs> you can also get brushes that are just not made of wire. Yeah, I just don't have one. <laughs> so, doing some chicken on here, and then I'm going to make some bone broth with the bones. Nice. Could we relocate the grill a little bit so I can pull my boat up? Yeah, that sounds like a good job for you. Sure. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll help you. Don't put that in the vlog. I get to sit here and smell that while I work on the boat. So here's all the stuff that I ordered last weekend. We got more oil than I need for this oil change, but it was cheaper to buy it this way. And now I'll have it some extra for next year. Got the oil filter, a dr silicone drain tube because the engine oil drains out of this port right here. And then the same thing with the oil filter in there. And then I've also got this little guy which is an hour meter i don't think i have very many hours on this but the only way to check it would be to take it into like bass pro or somewhere you know where i bought the boat and have them hook up a diagnostic tool to it to check and so i was doing a little bit of research online trying to see how expensive those hour meters were and they're really cheap there's actually one built in on my riding mower right here you can see it's been run for 56 hours and I've had that mower for gosh I think we got it in 2016 or 2017 and only ran it for 56 hours so I want to hook up this little hour meter on my boat uh, engine my Mercury Pro XS 115 horsepower uh, so that way I can tell how many hours I run it every year because I want to know how you know how many hours I'm putting on it obviously don't know without again hooking up diagnostic tool which I don't have to it uh, how many hours I've put on it for the last three years but this will allow me to know going forward how many hours I'm putting on it as it relates to the hourly or the yearly um, maintenance cycle engine is still nice and clean again it's only only three years old so it looks awesome still um, and of course the cover stays on it so keeps all the bulk of the dust and, and junk out of it and it's also really cool like this part is shown in the manual as well but it's kind of nice that it shows uh, what you need to do on a hundred year or yearly cycle or every 300 years of use
It shouldn't be much of a surprise, but this is way easier than doing an oil change on my truck. For starters, I'm standing here instead of on my back under my truck. But the design of this whole area is way better than on my truck. Like this, if oil were to actually come out of here, which it's, you know, slowly dripping a little bit, but if it were to actually cool, you know, pour out of here, it lands in this tray, goes down the drain hose and into a container that I have that I didn't end up needing. So you keep from getting oil anywhere in the engine as you're, you know, pulling it out. Oil change is complete. I already checked the dipstick. Levels are good. Cap is back on. So now it's time to figure out this little sucker and get it put on. Good luck, Nick. Make sure these like bigger ones are there. Mm-hmm. What'd you what'd you say? I said it's working. It is working. She sounds good when she's out of the water. Sounds good anyway. Smells good. <laughs> so here is that hour meter hooked up. Just wrap the wire around the spark plug wire. And then I've got it screwed into this little plastic cover. And that little icon flashing right there means it's getting signal. So the instruction said to let it run for about six minutes and that will uh, let it that'll get it to one tenth of a minute and then you'll be able to see the LCD display change to point one for one tenth of a minute. So check back in six minutes and see if that's indeed the case. Worked like a charm. Point one hours. Also when I picked up my little uh, whatever this thing is called it just snapped in half right here so I was able to tape it back together with electrical tape and it held up which is kind of cool because this is the only one of these that I have. I also didn't have that much water pressure coming through it, so I'm glad it worked out though. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to clean up around like this area specifically before I put the the engine cover on. And it's time to clean up the rest of the dirty boat. Get ready for spring.
She's all nice and sparkly clean now. Especially the engine, but really everything. So nice and shiny. So it's actually about 3.45 on a Sunday afternoon, and I'm gonna run down to the river real quick. Uh, it's only about 20 minutes from here, one of the places I go. So I called my buddy Josh and asked if he wanted to come out and take her out for a little, you know, spring shakeout run uh, as we get ready for the, you know, the spring and summer to kick off here soon. So we're gonna go do that. Uh, I'll have my GoPro with me and if we catch anything or if anything interesting happens, that's what you'll see immediately following this. And if not, I'll be seeing you guys back here to put the boat away and wrap this thing up. Yeah, kind of. No, that I just like threw. I was like, I'm gonna make sure that you know, I don't know, drag is set, things are good, and then I was definitely just digging this thing in the mud, and then I was like, okay, some, this feels different now. It feels like it broke loose from the mud but got heavier. Good bud. So yes, let's go back. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what. <laughs> Apparently when you just reel down hard on a crankbait to get it out of the mud and catch it up to the boat, you sometimes hook fish. I wasn't even sure I had a fish till I... Oh! There was no, there was no distinct transition. It was like, it felt like it was all of a sudden did start moving laterally a little bit, but he wasn't really head shaking until I got him up and... So when we got here earlier, uh, I had to drop my buddy Josh off at the ramp. He had to, he had to go. He wasn't able to stay out very long. The boat ramp is right over there, and we fir we just jumped across and we fished up this whole bank to right here, and we were about to jump from this point, you know, skip across this area and jump over to there. And I tied this crankbait on this deep diving crankbait and just kind of made a little just cast basically that general direction from pretty close to this spot um and josh was up front trolling us that way to the right and i hooked up with a pretty good largemouth but i did not have my gopro on and i also lost the fish i didn't even realize i had him so i didn't have a good hook set um but i am back in this area seeing if i can Get hooked up with another one we ran up to that point over there and then i had to go drop josh off so i went back up there for a little bit and that's where i've been for the last half hour or so and i'm going to be ready to head out pretty soon here but stopping at this so i'm back off at this spot see if we can't can't get lucky again something about maybe lightning striking twice in the same spot something like that maybe we'll see no more luck, unfortunately, but it's a lovely afternoon out on the water. It is, it is getting cool, though. Getting winds whipping up, temperatures dropping, sun is going down. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the ramp, which is like 200 yards in front of where I'm currently sitting, and then I'm gonna head back to the house and check back in when I get home. Got the boat all covered up. I plan on keeping it covered up like this even while it's under its carport during the next few months of the pollenine, which is about to hit in full force. So it doesn't get uh, all nasty now that it's all nice and clean. So that will go ahead and wrap this video up. Didn't get any fish in the boat, but I got one all the way up to the boat before it came off the hook and everything ran fine, which is awesome. So. We'll be all set for hopefully a spring and summer and fall full of fishing ahead. Didn't get to do much fishing last year because I broke my trolling motor and so it was down for several months until I got that fixed. So I'm looking forward to fishing a lot more this year hopefully. So anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Um, feel free to drop a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you want to. And I will see you guys on the next one.